Good morning everyone, this is Shaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe, reporting live from DEFIA 2023 at Athens. And I am at Boeing. I'm sitting with Mark Bellow. He's the Senior Director of Business Development, International Government Services with the Boeing Company. And this is the second time at DEFIA that I'm speaking to him. But yes, two years have passed and a lot have changed during this time. Welcome. Thank you so much, Mark, for talking to us again. So we begin with DEFIA. Boeing, this time, what is Boeing focuses, is focusing on DEFIA this year? Yeah, we've had a great long-term relationship with Greece and a lot of the military elements that they have here. So it's important for us to be here to show our support for their platforms, support for their defense industry, and make sure we're working with them closely to be able to sustain a long-term partnership, which we know is going to grow as they continue to expand their fleets. Uh, for both their defense side as well as their civil side, like their firefighting, those types of things using the Chinook aircraft. So it's great for us to be here to talk with the Greek leaders and Greek industry to make sure we're supporting them. When you uh, talk about the support and the partnership, the continuing partnership that you have with the Mediterranean region, what is in store for the future? What after DEFIA? What Boeing is expecting to have more partnerships with this Greek region, with the Devi Hellenic region here? You know, right now Greece has both the Chinook helicopter and the Apache helicopter. Uh, they've been long-term operators of both of those platforms and support and care and sustainment of those fleets are what's going to help them continue to do their mission safely, uh, to be able to execute all the operations that they need to do, uh, whether it be firefighting, humanitarian service, whatever that is. So the ability to work with them to make sure they have the right parts, the right training, the right forecasting for how to sustain those platforms is critical. You know, and there's strong industry here in Greece and our ability to work with the local industrial partners uh, using their facilities, their people, their tooling and processes, that just makes all of this work better. It's good for Boeing to be able to have those relationships. We believe it's good for Greek industry to be working with Boeing, and we know that would be the best way to support the Greek military on those platforms for you know, decades more of sustainment. So when you talk about working with the local industrial partners, are you planning to do it for the Chinook Apache here, or something new is coming up? Uh, we will look at the, working on the existing fleets right now uh, with local industry. So that is one of the things our teams have been doing is we've looked at uh, several Greek companies who has the, the tooling, the facilities, the people, the processes to be able to work that successfully to give the best support to the Greek military and also be able to work uh, closely with Boeing on uh, reach back for some of the engineering capabilities that we have. You know, some of the, we're, we're maintaining these platforms around the world there are 20 countries that operate the Chinook, there are 17 that operate the Apache. So being able to take those lessons learned that we have from countries around the world in different environments, how do we apply that here and how do we help work with Greek industry to leverage their skill set but also show them some of the things that we do, hopefully to be able to improve their skills and their capabilities as well. When working with the local partners, local industry, different regions have different uh, uh, capabilities, different rules, different regulations as well. So. What is your opinion about working with the local partners in the Hellenic region? Is it going to be easier or it's going to be more challenging? Uh, again, we work around the world. That's one of yeah. the advantages of being a company yes. like Boeing. We've yeah. worked in every region and every environment. Uh, so we've got experience being able to look at what are the local political uh, expectations, what are some of the local legal expectations, what are some of those capabilities. And we've been very successful around the world, and that's what happened in Greece as well. What are those right companies that we should be working with? How do we work within their framework? How do we work through the terms and conditions of all the contracting things to make sure we're meeting local expectations, local laws, and still providing the best capability to the Greek military? So what should what will be the level of partnerships? I mean, uh, what, like how much is Boeing going to contribute and how much are the local industries going to? There must be some cha plan already charted out for uh, that. The answer to everything is it depends. So it depends on what the expectations from the customer is, uh, what those capabilities are, um, and whatever it is, how that will start doesn't mean that's how it will end. Our goal will be we'll start out to figure out well, how much Boeing needs to do to be able to set these things up and make it effective, but migrate as much as possible to local Greek industry to be able to provide the engineering reach back, the experience that we have to help those companies 
uh, be successful, and in the long run be able to do the majority of that work. So uh, it may start at one point in time, but it will get like a learning curve uh, to work with where Greek industry will pick more of that up. But if the starting point is hard to determine right now until we have all those things laid in place. Mark, when we spoke in 2021, situations, the military situations, defense situations, the geopolitical situations, everything was very different from now. We had the war, uh, it's still going on. So how you feel? What have been, I mean, is, has Mediterranean become more defense challenging uh, place and it has uh, given a leverage for the companies like Boeing? Um, I don't know it's going to come a more challenging place, but as they're going to the increase uh, your defense budget, to increase your gross domestic product, you know, the, the acknowledgement that there needs to be uh, an expansion for what Greece is doing for their military and their capabilities and the modernization of their platforms and their ability to go through and do this. Uh, we've had a, a multiple engagements in Greece with Greek industry as we with the Greek military over those last two years. Uh, a recurring, continuous conversation with them. So uh, I won't say it's become more challenging, it's become more consistent. It's become more uh, of an expectation and the ability to go and work with the industry to make sure, again, we're providing the best capability for the military and we're working with Greek industry to be able to make that happen. So you mean to say that Greek uh, government is uh, investing more for the military and the defense products? We see that there is a, an increase in the defense expenditures. Uh, I don't have all the details for what yeah. the Greek industry does, okay. but they have been consistent with saying we've got to support our existing platforms and look at what they're going to do to modernize those platforms. So there's been more commitment, more in discussion, more time spent on how they're going to go through and do that. So that need, the recognition of that need has grown and the willingness to be able to go through and say we're going to invest, we're going to put programs, uh, dollars in to be able to support those platforms uh, for the extent it's grown. And again, they do more than just the defense side. And certainly when you look at the Chinook and humanitarian service missions and the yeah. things that they're doing, it's, it's, a, it's a holistic support for Greece. So apart from Chinook and Apache, are you looking for any more uh, capabilities that Boeing can support the Mediterranean region for? Yes, so we've looked at, I mean, there are some weapon systems that would be uh, looked at as well. But also, you know, what are we doing with our digital capabilities for mm -hmm. being more predictive. And yeah, now it's digital system. warfare. Yeah, digital yeah, warfare, yes. how we're looking through uh, using digital analytics to number one, support the platforms. Number two, you know, what's going to be required? What's going to be required for you know, cyber security, those types of things. So all those things are being discussed and looked at. And again, Greece has been a great partner in Southern Europe. There's a lot of great partnerships here in Southern Europe when you look at what you know, Spain has been doing with their Chinook fleet, what the Italians are doing with the uh, their fleets, even using the like the aero refueling capability that's, uh, that Italy's been doing. They've done a number of things though, through Afghanistan, a number of things through COVID using those platforms. So holistically, you know, Southern Europe has been you know, instrumental to support of the world and in a lot of support of the things that have been going on you know, politically uh, and multiple things in this region. Finally, about DEFIA. Today is the second day and half of the day is already almost. We are going uh, coming to the lunch uh, time till now. So how has been this one and a half days in DEFIA? I get to break the with you for a second time. How can it be any better than that? <laughs> so uh, it's actually been uh, very, uh, very important. We've had a number of senior delegations, both from Greece and from some of the local you know, countries around here. The opportunity to talk with a number of the defense industries. This has been well worth uh, our time and investment to be here. That hopefully it shows our commitment to Greece and what we're going to do for uh, that we're here to be part of what's happening in Greece and in Southern Europe. Uh, so it's been an exceptional discussion so far. I've already had a couple of very uh, key meetings this morning, uh, and again the opportunity to come and talk with you. What could be better? Great, thank you so much, Mark. As usual, lovely talking to you and got to know a lot of things. Uh, sure, again after two years. We should meet again at DEFIA. Yes, and during these two years, I'm sure a lot more will happen in this region. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Great. Thank you.